welcome to another video about the brand new AR Core Depth API. So what you can see here is I took the open source Depth Lab application and modified it. So for example, I have a Depth Mesh here instead of the Depth Map only. And uh, yeah, you can see that basically how the depth data is being processed and you know, have a little bit of, of color and rainbow effect attached to it. So it also shows you the distance a little bit better. And of course, I had to add my meatballs. If you have seen demos from me before, you might have seen that I have these meatballs. Um, the origin is a long story, but basically it was for a demo I did in, I uh, think, in Sweden. Of course, in Sweden, right? And of course, I have this 3D scan of myself and, you know, these kind of physics objects. Also take a look how the, the shadow is projected, right? It's correctly projecting the shadow uh, using the AR Core Light estimation. And, you know, I can also fill this real world basket here, right? So with virtual meatballs and look, look uh, when I go a little bit closer, um, look at the occlusion, right? So if I fill it a little bit more, look how the occlusion happens there. It's pretty amazing, actually. And what's really nice about the AR Core Depth API, if you have a device like uh, the Samsung S20 Plus 5G I have here with a depth camera with a time of flight sensor, it can quickly adapt the depth map to dynamic changes, right? So if I open the piano here, you can see these kind of dynamic changes quickly adapted also for the physics systems, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. So yeah, doing a little bit more experiments in the next couple of weeks, you might see a few more. Also take a look at the depth mesh here, right? When I open the piano, you can really see how the, the depth sensor of the S20 Plus here processes the data. The depth um, API also works on other devices that don't have a dedicated time of flight sensor. But of course, if you wanna have these kind of dynamic things like, you know, bring in a hand in and things like that, you need a time of flight sensor. You need a device with a depth camera. But anyway, without a depth camera, it still works. And we have hundreds of millions of devices that now have support for depth API, and we can do some pretty amazing stuff with it, right? All right, my friends, take care.